And all, all the min minerals you find on the moon have oxygen. Elmenite is special in the sense that it's one of the, it's relatively easy to break it apart to get to the oxygen. And of course, I use the term relatively because mining anything on the moon is not simple. I mean, you got to get there, which we know is not simple, right? And so if you have oxygen, depending on the process you're using, one of the processes when you reduce this ilmenite mineral, you make water, okay? So the water comes off, and of course that has, you know, ob very obvious uses for, you know, human consumption. And then you can further break down that water into hydrogen and oxygen, and you can use hydrogen and oxygen later to power a fuel cell to make electricity or to make rocket fuel to power, to power rockets. Spectacular observations. Well, thanks, Jennifer. And, and resources are things we can use to live off the land, and most particularly in the case of these Hubble observations, it's finding things that contain easily or readily extracted oxygen from lunar materials. The glasses and the soils, in some cases, are abundant in oxygen. All rocks contain abundant oxygen, but the ones that are most easily liberated are what we're after. So Hubble's high precision send insert instruments to in the ultraviolet and invisible, and its high spatial resolution, basically resolving power of a hockey rink from Earth orbit, um, is what allowed this to happen. 